to make vegan mayonnaise, I'm going to start with cashews. That's the secret ingredient. Raw cashews, which means they haven't been cooked, they haven't been salted. I have them right here, but the thing is, you have to soak them in a bowl of water first for three to four hours. I had them soaking in this bowl um, for a while now, and I drained it already in a strainer. Put them back in here, and the other trick is you do need a high-powered blender or Vitamix to make this. Then the other ingredients you're going to use, and I've already measured out, um, one and a half teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, and I did not measure out one and a half teaspoons of sweetener, and I'm using agave nectar. and a dash of salt. I'm using Celtic, Celtic sea salt. And then a quarter teaspoon of ground mustard. Oh, and one more ingredient. Lemon juice. I already um, juiced a lemon and you need two tablespoons of it. Now I got this recipe from Mimi Kirk. Check out Mimi Kirk online. She's amazing. I don't know her. And now we're ready to blend it. You're going to blend this, but you just put it in the blender until it's smooth and then you're going to pour in a half a cup plus one tablespoon of olive oil. So what I did in this measuring cup, I put in a half a cup and then I measured a, tea, a tablespoon and put it in there. So that was that was her uh, plan. I took the top off already. I want to see how this goes with just what I put in here and my high, on my Vitamix blender. So it's going to be loud. that I need to um, use a, um, yeah, one of these, <laughs> a spatula, just because um, there's not a whole lot of liquid in here, so when there isn't much in there, you don't want your blender to overdo, so I'm going to Play with it a little bit. Sometimes with these thicker nut blends, you need to play with them and get them going in your blender and then move it around a little bit so it has a chance to get smooth inside and that's okay. I would not try this with a food processor. It wouldn't be smooth enough. this, but at least if you try it at home, you'll know that it takes a little trial and error, and you'll know that it takes some stopping the blender and putting the spatula in and moving it around a little bit, just because it is only a cup of cashews. It is getting smoother, though, and the idea was to get it as smooth as possible before putting in the oil, but I put a little bit in just to get it going. I 
can see it moving around in there enough that I know it's not just sitting there. And it is getting more and more smooth. So I think it's ready to take the rest of the olive oil. I want it all to get blended. So now I don't need the center thing. Check it. You could add a little water if you want, if it just seems too thick. The thing is, after you refrigerate, oh, I can see. Yeah, it's, the olive oil helped a lot. <laughs> and But I need to get what's on the sides and mix it up a little bit and put it back in the water. After you finish blending it, you're going to put it in a container and refrigerate it, and it will thicken as you refrigerate it. Also, um, you can taste it for seasonings if you want a little more um, salt or if you want a little more mustard, you can add that. I'm going to blend it one more time. So you can see it takes a little bit of doing, but it's not bad and it's vegan. So I'm going to put the lid on again. The video is blinding. Right. And I like what I'm seeing in here now. Let me see if I can get that in front of the camera so you can see what it looks like. Can you see that? It's really, really smooth now once I've added the oil and let it blend. So I'm going to put it in the container and then um, we'll see in the next scene uh, what it looks like. This is what it looks like when it's done. It actually tastes really delicious. Make sure you taste it. But even if you put it in the refrigerator and let it get chilled and thickened, and then you taste it, you want to add a little more mustard or a little more salt or whatever, that's fine. So that's how you make vegan mayonnaise.